I'll be using cutting charges. And a cutting charge is basically a small section of copper which heats up to tremendous temperature, cuts through the steel like a knife through butter, which then creates a small gap where the charge was, which then allows the rest of the structure to start to move into the gap, and then gravity will bring it down and drop it in the river. The, the key thing is to make sure that they've done everything possible because once you start the initiation, there's nothing else they can do about it after that point. But even if the charges go off as planned, a shockwave from the explosion could have disastrous consequences. Describe to me what a shockwave is. The best way I can describe a shockwave is it, it's, it's air being expelled away from the charge. What they would be concerned about on the bridge is that because of the fact they need to get the bridge down quickly, the explosives are going to go off in a sequence that is quite quick. And if you just imagine, it then pushes a large blast of air away from each of the, the charges. What impact is that large amount of air pushing rapidly sideways? How is it going to affect the existing bridge? Is there any way of controlling shockwaves? The only real way we can do it is the timing of the blast. If all the charges went off together, you'd have a very large area of, of air being pushed away in all directions, which means that possibly could unseat the bridge from the from the bearings next door so what they will do is they will determine that when the charges go off rather than one large charge going off a number of smaller charges fractionally after one another so you have a, a set of smaller waves going out rather than one large timing on this implosion is critical blow the charges at exactly the same moment and the combined shock wave could damage the new bridge too far apart and the bridge could fall the wrong way. There's a lot of preparation required, several months, to bring to fruition a few seconds of an implosion. Do you ever get nervous? Yeah, I think we do. If you're not nervous, then the, really you're too confident. It is a science, but you're also using things which you cannot 100% guarantee. Explosives are all slightly different. So from our point of view, once we initiate the explosives, there's nothing we can do after that. Just a normal day at the office. <laughs> the amount of variables that could affect this implosion are staggering. Even a cloudy day could have catastrophic consequences. Whenever a shockwave goes off, off of an explosion, it's going to go out in every direction. 